Hey everyone, so you've determined that you require some over-the-counter reading glasses, but you have no idea what strength you should get. I'm gonna help you out with that right now. I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, and this is Good Optometry Morning. So before you can pick what power you need, you need to know what powers these over-the-counter reading glasses actually come in. Over-the-counter reading glasses come in different strengths and the unit of measure is the diopter. So typically, the lowest power of over-the-counter reading glasses you can find is one diopter and they can range and typically go up to about 2.5 diopters. Prescription eyewear is made in 0.25 steps. And so sometimes you can find over-the-counter reading glasses in 0.25 steps as well. So you will find over-the-counter reading glasses that come in powers of 1, 1 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, 2, 2.25, and 2.5. Those would be the typical powers. But it's not unusual to find them at only half diopter steps. Personally, I don't think I've ever seen a power that's lower than 1.00. And it's pretty rare that you'll find them over 2.5. But occasionally in some places you'll find up to a three. Now a helpful tip is that if you're looking for a really high powered pair of reading glasses, you might want to look for a low vision optometrist. These are optometrists will, that will typically help people with vision impairments and they will often carry over-the-counter reading glasses that will have higher powers like four, six, eight, ten, even plus twenty, plus forty. This is where you'll find really high powered reading glasses. Okay, so how do you pick which power you need. I'm gonna give you a few options on ways that you can try to find out the right power for you. So one way is you can simply use your working distance. So this is the distance from your eyes to whatever task you're doing. And then you just convert that distance to diopters. Now this method only really works if you've lost all your accommodation or focusing ability, or if you've had cataract surgery and they haven't put a multifocal lens in place. Typically, if you're over 60, you've lost almost all of your autofocus ability. So what you do, you measure the distance between your eye and whatever task you're doing, let's say looking at your phone, and you measure that in meters. And then you take that number in meters and you take the reciprocal of it, and that will give you the diopter strength. And then you use just that diopter strength, and that's how you pick which reading glasses to start with. Now, if you are under 60 or if you haven't had cataract surgery, likely you do have some autofocus ability left. And so this calculation might calculate a higher reading strength than you actually need. Another way is that you can use an age estimation. So you can use a chart like this and what it will do is it'll help calculate based on your age what a typical strength of reading glasses you might need. Another method you can use to determine the power of the reading glasses you should have is based on what size of print you can read at a certain distance. So what you need is a chart something like this. And what it has is it has different sizes of font and then you hold it at a particular distance and you determine what you can see and what you can't see. And then based on which line you can read, it will tell you an approximate power of what you should start with. Now this requires a printed sheet with font size at specific sizes and then you work at a certain distance. In the description below, there's a link and if you send me your email, I'm happy to send you out a copy of one of these forms along with all the other methods that I'm describing here. Another method that you can use is simply trial and error. What you can do is you can go to the store and they have different powers, maybe bring something that you read or your phone and hold it at a typical distance that you wanna work at and then try on different pairs and you'll find one that seems to work better than the others and that's what you can start with. And of course, you can always visit your optometrist and they will be happy to measure the exact power that you would need for your over-the-counter reading glasses. So there are some key points that are really important to know when you are looking for your reading glasses. So number one, it's okay to have more than one pair of reading glasses with different strengths. And the reason why is because you will require a different strength of reading glasses for different distances. So if you're reading your phone or reading a book here, you might need a certain power. And if you're looking at your computer monitor way out here, you're gonna need a different power. And if you're working on your car, you're gonna need a different power. If you're working in the kitchen, you might need a different power. So it's okay to have multiple powers of over-the-counter reading glasses because it's about having the right tool for the right job. So if you want a copy of all these four methods of determining your reading power, look in the description before, send me your email, and I'd be happy to send out that link to you. Also, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below on what's the highest power pair of reading glasses that you've found. And with that, have a great optometry day.